What's up nerds, my name is Abdul Nafe and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this one we're gonna be learning how to make this amazing render inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now this tutorial is mainly made for Unreal beginners who have very little experience inside of Unreal Engine 5. However, you will be expected to know the basics like navigating the viewport, using the move tool, rotate tool, etc. In this video, we're gonna be covering the basics of importing models from Blender, texturing, lighting, and rendering inside of Unreal Engine 5. Now, even if you are an Unreal Engine 5 intermediate user, I would still recommend you to watch this video because it's filled with useful tips and tricks, which will help you simplify your workflow. So if you wanna take your Unreal Engine 5 skills to the next level, then start this class today. Thank you. All right guys, so we are back inside Unreal Engine 5, and today we're gonna be making this amazing animation, um, uh, this amazing scene. You can see it looks pretty good. Uh, and it's actually surprisingly very easy to make as well. So the animation which we're going to be making is going to be this one. Oops, not this one. Um, it's going to be this one right here. So just some basic camera moves and like um, very simple stuff to be honest. So I'm going to be te teaching you how to import the models, how to um, uh, add textures, how to make this floor and everything, how to make this whole studio basically. And after that, how to render this. So yeah, let's start. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna be needing a, a 3D model of a Lamborghini, or you can use any other car if you want. Um, so what I'm gonna do for that is simply, I'm just gonna go to Blender. Uh, and I use Blender, but you can use any 3D software if you want. And so basically there are two ways to do this. One is you can use an add-on, for example, this um, transportation add-on, which I have right here. Uh, the, way you, the way you use this is actually pretty simple. Just select your car, whichever you want, um, and just press add vehicle. But now, obviously, many of you won't have this add-on, uh, and I understand that it is pretty expensive. Although it makes your life much easier, uh, much more, much more easy, um, and I would definitely recommend you to get it if you can. Uh, but apart from that, the other way is to simply search um, Lamborghini Urus 3D model on the internet. Uh, you can obviously search any car. For example, if you want to search um, Lamborghini Aventador or any other car, uh, you're going to see a lot of these models are going to come up and uh so i would recommend you to use either sketchfab or um apart from that i think just a second uh you can just search 3d model as well and i'm just gonna be showing you some websites uh so sketchfab is pretty good cg trader is pretty good um free 3d and turbo squid so these are the ones which i've used um i'm not exactly sure about these other websites but um these are the ones which are very trusted so i'm just going to be using sketchfab for this just open it and you're going to see just wait for it to load uh, and so on Sketchfab, most of uh, the models are actually free to download, but some of them are paid as well. Some of them you can't even download. Uh, they're just there for display. And you're going to see this model actually looks pretty good and it's free to download. So you can just press this download 3D model button right here and just press original format, download. And I'm just going to be showing you how to import this inside of Unreal Engine as well. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you how to use the transportation add-on as well. So you're going to see this model looks pretty good. Just wait for it to download and... While we're here, let me just export this um, model, this, um, what do you call it? This transportation model uh, inside of Unreal Engine 5. So the way you import any model inside of Unreal Engine 5 is by first exporting it as an FPX from Blender. And how exactly do we do that? Just, um, uh, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, just make sure that you're, the only thing in your scene is the actual model which you wanna import and make sure that if you go to the side view, uh, the wheels are properly aligned with um, the, what do you call them? Uh, with the ground so actually they're not they're a little below it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and select gz just move it slightly up something like that and that should be good all right so that does our job and just ignore this rig right here we're not going to be animating this car uh, however you can do that if you want so what i'm going to do is that simply i'm just going to go to file export and fbx just like this and you can just export it whatever you want but i'm going to export it uh, right here in this models uh, folder which i made and this is basically just a collection of all models which i have um so yeah that's something which i do uh and you can see i already have this lamborghini euros model right here um and once you have once you're just um once you confirm where you want to export it just press F export fpx but i'm not going to do that because i already do have this uh so i'm going to press cancel and now once you've exported that um I think this is downloaded. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be importing this inside of Blender as well. And okay, so just go to source and this FBX file right here. Now you can either directly export, uh, import this inside of Unreal Engine 5, or you can uh, first take it inside Blender. Uh, and that's something which I would recommend because that just ensures that the model is fine and everything is working. Uh, I'm just going to delete this Lamborghini and I'm going to be pressing file, import and FBX again. So this time we're going to be using the model 
which came with that. I'm not exactly sure what it was called. Eurus SDC. Eurus SDC, import FPX. And just wait for it to import. All right, so now you're going to see this model has been imported. And this actually looks much better than the other one. Uh, so, uh, but I mean, I'm going to use that one anyway. Uh, so you can use this as well if you want. All right, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, I'm simply going to be aligning this with uh, the, the floor. Uh, I'm going to be, first of all, I'm just going to select everything. Press A to select everything. And G, Y. Oops, not G, Y. G, Z. And just make sure that it's aligned with the ground. All right, now I'm just going to delete this thing right here and this light as well. Uh, and I can simply just export this whole uh, thing inside of Unreal Engine, uh, Unreal Engine 5. So just export FPX and just do the same exact thing which we did. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I'll be using the other one. All right, so now our Blender work is basically complete. And now we're going to be uh, importing the car inside of Unreal Engine 5. So for that, I'm just going to create a new level, empty level, create. Uh, and here we're going to be working. Um, right, so I'm just going to save this level right, real quick. Uh, Heroes underscore tutorial, and that's going to work for me. And I'm just going to dock uh, the content browser right here. All right, so first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to be, um, what I'm going to do is that I'm, I'm going to be creating the floor first and the walls, and then we're going to be importing the car. So let me just create a new um, shape, and that's going to be a cube. Oops, and what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to be scaling it up in, um, just go to the scale tool, scaling it up in the X and the Y axis so to make it um, bigger. I think the floor uh, is enough for now. And for the time being, what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to be adding uh, just a random light. Uh, so let's go to lights and red light. And I'm going to be rotating this like that, 90 degrees. And let's move it up so that we can actually see what we're doing. Perfect. Uh, and let me just increase the height and width of this as well. All right, perfect. So now you can see what exactly is going on. Uh, we have this floor, right? And I'm going to be importing the car. So to import the car, what I'm going to do is that firstly, you can just create a new folder uh, named car. Um, and I already do have it created. Uh, and I have this uh, subfolder inside this called Lamborghini Urus. Uh, and that inside that I have the car, but I'm going to create another one. Eurus. Oops, Eurus. I don't know if it's called Eurus or Urus, um, but whatever. Um, doesn't really matter that much. Anyways, so inside this folder, what I'm going to do is that simply I'm just going to go to wherever I um, exported that uh, model. So here it is. Um, Lamborghini Eurus. And I'm just going to be dragging this inside of Unreal Engine 5 right here. And if I drop it, you're going to see it's going to import. Just press import all, and it's going to be importing. Now, this will take some time, depending on your computer. It's going to take some, I think, one or two minutes, uh, depending on how fast your computer is. But once it's done, I'll see you then. All right, so now the car has been imported. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to bring it up. And I'm going to see, we're going to have a lot of these meshes. And just don't worry about any of this. So what we're going to be doing is that we're simply going to be uh, selecting the first mesh right here. Uh, just ignore all the materials. They're automatically going to be applied. Uh, I'm going to be selecting the first mesh and we're going to go down to the last mesh, which is going to be this thing right here. Uh, so just press shift and just click this so that you select all the meshes. And now what I'm going to do is that simply I'm just going to drag, uh, just uh, select any of them and just drag it inside the viewport. And now you're going to see the whole car is going to come inside our viewport. Uh, perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Uh, so one thing which I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create a new folder named car and I'm just going to be selecting all the parts of the car and I'm just going to be dragging them inside the folder so that we can easily collapse it and it doesn't interfere with us. All right, so now our model is imported and now let's start working on the textures.